Hey, what's up guys? This is Eric, aka Form Trends. We're outside the Coventry Transport Museum tonight, about to go and check out the Coventry MA Degree Show. The students are exhibiting inside and, well, let's go and have a look. This is my thesis project, it's called Moto. It is a vehicle designed for um, people who live in a urban megacity environment who use their vehicle to make a living. Uh, entrepreneurs, small business people, uh, tradespeople, things like that. Um, the vehicle is designed to reduce uh, urban traffic congestion. Um, when it is not in use delivering cargo, uh, the footprint of the vehicle actually shrinks down and it goes from being a um, uh, light commercial vehicle to a very small um, uh, micro city car with a footprint about the same size as a smart 4-2. When it is in uh, city passenger mode, uh, it's very small, uh, it has a reclined uh, passenger cabin like this. The chassis of the vehicle telescopes outward and it expands the rear track uh, and the cab of the vehicle uh, pivots upwards and forwards to accommodate a variety of different modular cargo containers uh, in a very small uh, overall footprint. So it's a very, very adaptable and flexible vehicle. Um, you can repurpose it as uh, either a cube van, a taxi cab, a food truck, micro delivery van, a pickup truck. Um, designed to accommodate uh, a variety of different modular uh, cargo units. Um, and as I said, it's designed really for people who um, uh, use their vehicle to make a living, but uh, don't want to be driving a, um, a large cargo vehicle at all times. This is my final project, LBS2040, and this design is designed for the 2040 and focuses on the uh, user experience and uh, may show the well-being in the interior design. So uh, this model has uh, three models, so uh, let me show the instrument panel. So instrument ha uh, have the three models, this is the first model. This is second, and this is third. The third one. As the picture shows, there are three models uh, separately. Shows uh, easy driving, resting, and family times. So uh, this car is a semi-autonomous car. So when the driving is, uh, when the driver is driving the car, so the section like this part, so the people can relax the poster and uh, easily drive the car. And uh, the set of the rear, the set of the rear seats, this part, the three angles can be taken off. And uh, the look at the pictures, the kids can play the games like the Lego. And uh, when the people don't, uh, when the family don't have the children, so the people can put the magazines and sing back in the side table. And uh, the real seats, they can be rotated. So like this one. And uh, this part is the moving refrigerator. And the, uh, passengers can put some food or drinks in, uh, inside. And this can be anywhere. Yes, and this part is the air cleaner, so it can clean the uh, air. That is the my pa my package, so maximum uh, five per passengers uh, inside the interior. Doing this project for a non city focused vehicle, that's what I call a long distance, because the more developed of the mega city, the less usage will encourage us to own a car. So I, I try to think the opposite way. What are the requirements for people to have a long distance? For people who might lack of a public transport or they just willing to drive. So I gather these two kind of a group of people to fit into my cars. So my main image is from the, from the skeleton. I draw the outline of that, so that's the idea what I, why I got this uh, diamond shape. So 
because the conflict of the two different groups, people have to drive and people need to uh, like to drive. Mm. So I, to, I, manipulate, I manipulate the lines straight by curve. So that's the whole shape of my car. Four passengers and the center driving seat on the front row. And it's a semi-autonomous because they may live in the place there will be a lack of a smart system to support them for the full uh, autonomous program. They have different modes. The first one is the autonomous mode. The mm -hmm. dashboard will close and you, the driver or the passengers will have the best view from the windshield. The second one is the driving mode. The dashboard will open up and project the, the information the driver needs to know, but still have a lot of uh, dominate uh, view of that track. It's reconfigurable because there I, I managed to put a large space in, inside of the car so they can tilt together, have a better social or connection position and gestures. This is my project uh, called Comax and the uh, core idea of this uh, model is uh, this standard cockpit which is which can be also used as a uh, single row city car so uh, the idea is that uh, if you are uh, young people live in the city uh, you only need to buy this uh, separate cockpit uh, so and take the advantage of this modular vehicle system when you need to carry more people like uh, your family comes uh, you can rent this big rear module from the company and maybe when you need to uh, you want to have a race game with your friends on weekends you can uh, you can turn to this and rent this uh, long bonnet uh, cool module to turn your car into a sports car and join that driving experience uh, the aesthetics of this car is basically uh, inspired by Chinese culture so you see there are a lot of uh, Design language, design language uh, in this car uh, is very different from today's mainstream uh, models. On the research, uh, I found that uh, in China, most family would just uh, have one car. So, uh, in a functional perspective, uh, I apply this uh, modular strategy to uh, uh, to create a more uh, environmental friendly product line for Chinese uh, users. In that uh, design perspective, the uh, uh, shape of the, of the car, especially from side view, uh, is inspired by uh, Chinese dragon. The, the color and trim of this model uh, basically is a uh, light color and a dark color which is inspired by Chinese yin yang graphics. The whole car uh, communicates a uh, balanced dynamic, which is the uh, core uh, of the Chinese automotive aesthetics. I'd like to present my uh, concept. We got a full concept name of E uh, of E, E of the future. The concept is got a separate two part from the cabin space and uh, the bottom of the platform. So the two parts will be separated right? and you can change the top to a different version. You got single version, four people version, a family version and uh, the cargo version to the delivery cargo. So <coughs> people people bought the top and the company owned the base and the people bought the top and to rent to sharing, people can use it and for public. And uh, sometimes People don't want to use it for other people, so just use it uh, privately. So people can earn earn money from the car, and just people who want to use it just pay the membership price per year and to use it. And uh, some people don't want to use it, just take it for the top. Uh, some part is uh, storage at the warehouse. Some part is some people just take it to the garage, the private garage, and then to make this top to the another space of the home. So that's two, 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 two parts to use of it. So front of the, the platform, they got the storage space and uh, 
the why because why why the, the front a little bit heavy looking heavy so because the rear got a battery bag so a little battery will be heavy so makes the, the car balance so the front got the large space to the wagon so to the side of the car we got the two light welcome light and uh, this slide I'm showing you passenger inside or in use or not in use yeah. we going to the red and the green so to the rear, they got the battery back. The three circle will be green when the battery is fully charged. And if the battery level is lower than twenty percent, the, the, the circle will be going to red. And the, the bottom of the platform is going to charge itself. Don't need to wait in the charging. So if you change another another big platform, come back to bring you. So. For the rear uh, battery pack, you have to change yourself and uh, it will be separate to the cabin space. So, there will be saved time, don't need to wait to charge in 40 minutes or 50 minutes to charge in. So, the battery of the cabin and the platform will be separated. They got two, they got, they got, they got two different bat battery packs. So, without the top, the platform will be driving itself. So don't need to wait, don't need to worry about the distance of the car. So yeah, that's it. Thank you. My final project uh, is this car. It's a, uh, it's a reliable space for uh, user. I just want to make a, a different visual, a new language for the car design. So it's a, a three people inside. Going in front of this uh, this place and two people in this vehicle position. And uh, I just uh, use uh, uh, architecture architecture design elements and uh, geometric um, aesthetics. Um, yeah, and use uh, like and white the make as a main color. It's a full autonomous vehicle and electric uh, vehicle. It's more in interactive uh, for user. So they can just have a um, quick meal and when the restaurant is very crowded or just have a quick meeting uh, before they go to a company. So, so the interior scene is like this, face to face. It's yeah, more activity for uh, user, for passenger. My final major project, and uh, it's called Mini Small Art Project. And I design uh, a performance vehicle, it's typical wind engine vehicle for Mini Small brand itself. And uh, it's also will to uh, will meet the future uh, environment, and uh, will be used uh, via technology. Uh, as an uh, autonomous drive, uh, uh, there is no more windscreen. Uh, it can be drive itself, and there I set the inner screen here. Uh, people can see that screen uh, uh, about uh, what's happening on the road. So um, for styling, it's, it looks more about the, the uh, uh, video game, the, the Grand Turismo. So the more elements is. is inspired from those like uh, Infinity VGT and uh, Nissan VGT and I put those elements on this vehicle and uh, for Nismo brand itself so normally they use the red lines paint through around the body piece here so like this I mean the Nissan design language is uh, emotional geometry so I design following that thing so using the sharp curves, edges and uh, using a, uh, a soft surface between the sharp edges.
So there you have it. Eight guys, two girls, some semi-autonomous projects, some autonomous projects, sports cars, some boxes, some modular vehicles. Basically, this is a pretty good turnout for uh, the Masters show, which is now going to 15, from 15 months to 18 months. It's gonna be a two year program starting from next year. So this is the last crop of designers that are going to be on the shortened program. Um, and we'll see where they end up and what they do and where they turn up. Maybe they'll be in this museum someday. <laughs>